Welcome back to San Antonio Levine. As you know, scarves and t-shirts are all the rage when it comes to fashion. And we have met a lady who's combined both of them and it won't break the bank. Of course, I'm talking about Alicia from Alicia Savings. You see her blog on saliving.com. I am so excited about this because I love to be able to take something that's old mm -hmm. and make it new and have people go, where did you get that? And exactly. you say, I made it. Exactly, I mean, I'm sure Everybody has walked into a store before, seen something such as a fringe scarf, which seems to be all the rage, like mm -hmm. you said, looks at the price and it says $30 and they're like, oh, I can make that. And you can. And I got some help from our little friends at Pinterest mm -hmm. and I learned three ways that you can recycle your t-shirts that you already mm -hmm. have and make a scarf without even having to sew. And of course, I'm wearing one right now, which is the braid, which I love. And we're also gonna show the fringe and a couple of other looks. So exactly. how do you get started? Okay, you can pick any type of t-shirt that you have. It can be solid, like this one, all red, nothing on it, or it can have a design on it. It's entirely up to you. So for the fringe scarf, like the one I'm wearing, mm -hmm. it's so simple, it literally takes maybe a total of 10 minutes. And all you do is you cut the seams off of the shirt, and you don't even have to do it perfectly. I'm just gonna do this real fast. And um, after you cut off the seam, and you cut off this part, then all you have to do is cut little slits on each end, maybe about an inch apart, and I'll just start it for you. I'm not gonna make the whole thing that would, I'm gonna take up the whole segment doing that, but like this, right? That's and you'll you start it off, that is all you do. And after you and cut you the slits like that, mm -hmm. after you cut slits all down this side and all down this side, all you do is you just pull them like that. And then when you're done, you open it, you kind of stretch it, give it a little stretch like mm -hmm. this, and you can wear it long like I have, or you can double it around. I believe this one is a little bit longer. So you can wear it, say, with a long sleeve white shirt, dress it up with a cute hat, mm -hmm. and you didn't spend a penny. I love, And you're recycling, too. I exactly. love Exactly. Go green. Okay, this is a, another look, and this looks a little complicated, though. Yes. How do you make this one? I know. <laughs> it does, right? But it is so simple. Let's see. Let's try it with this one. And we're just going to start it off. And like I said, the same thing over and over. So if you want to, Leslie, I'll just have you trace that plate the around. The outside? The outside. Okay. And we're using a marker? A marker. You can use a pen. What, as long as you can see it, you can use it. And you can make, let's see, four probably circles. OK. And we're, oh yeah, we can just start one circle because as I said, the same thing over and over will make these little ribbons. Okay. So if you want to, all you have to do is start cutting it. And when you cut around the circle, you're gonna kind of go into a little spiral after you cut it out. So cut out the circle first. Yes, and, and as then I you said, cut within it. Yes, and it doesn't have to be perfect because when you stretch it out, it'll turn out like a little ribbon. So you finish the circle. Okay. Here, and all you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> and fasting. all you have to do is start cutting it into a little spiral like this. Does not have to be perfect. Oh, that's easy. And it takes maybe what, 20 seconds to finish the whole spiral. And when you're done, let's see, I'm almost done here. And then, like you're that. You're stretch it out again like what you did with the other one. And all you're gonna do is pull on it like mm -hmm. this. And when you're done, you the finishing finished. result is like that. So when you put it around, let's see, I'll just do this real Make fast. Make it look fashionable. Yes, so you can maybe do this, put mm -hmm. it around your head like that. Fasten it. Oh, she's working two scars there over here. There we go. I'm and ready then to go. Your final touch, the you can add a flower, flower that you already have. So when you're done, it turns out like that. Perfect. And you can wear that uh, during the spring. It's all the rage. And as I said, you didn't spend a penny. It's fantastic. Okay, this one looks like a necklace. To this me. one. Okay. I'm going to hold same, it up. Same, yes, same concept. And I didn't uh, sew it on the end. You can sew it if you want, but I fastened it with the safety pin. And so these. Same concept as the fringe, but all you do is, I'm not gonna cut it, but I'll show you. This is the t-shirt, like, oops, sorry. This is the t-shirt here. You cut into a bunch of strips, right? Yes, exactly. It, when you hang it like this, it looks like a necklace. Exactly, and all you do, when you cut a shirt like this, you just cut the strips horizontally, but a little bit smaller. And so after you cut the strip, you literally stretch it, and here it is. 
and the reason I cover that is to cover the seams, maybe to make it a little more clean finish. Mm -hmm. And I can cover it with, let's say, a leftover ribbon or a leftover sash like I did on that one. And then you're done and you did not spend a penny. You're recycling, you're going green. And you're having fun while you do it and your friends are saying, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And you can say, I made it and they and can follow your trends. this is the even more advanced version. This so you involves can just sewing. Go crazy. Yes. You, just, you sew extra ones right here. Exactly. I am so inspired. I'm going to do this with my <laughs> girls. You get really any age. You and can go from fun. kids all the way up to adults. You're recycling, you're having a good time, and you're making fashion. Exactly. All at once. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much thank for sharing for that with me. us. Of course, you can find out more great ideas just by checking out our website, saliving.com. You will see Alicia's blog, which is called Alicia Savings. You can also email her at alicianeves at woaitv.com.